Hit record. All right, here we go. Happy Monday again, everybody. Um, hopefully you guys had a great weekend. Anybody out showing properties this weekend? Anybody out? Yes. Armando, you were showing properties this weekend. How did it go? It went good. It went good. Um, we submitted an offer. We're just waiting to hear back now. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. All right. That's awesome. Anybody else out submitting offers? Not yet? Okay. I actually went out this weekend um, with my husband. We looked at a few properties. We saw two that we really like, and we submitted offers. We were in multiple offer situations on both. Um, and I know that they're going to be presenting today. So prayers up, fingers crossed. Um, we'll see what happens. Uh, but we know that we're in a competitive market and uh, the two properties, one is in Chino, one is in Corona. So, um, but even in those areas, as we talk about, we are still in competition. Um, and so, um, and so, yeah, it, it don't, don't let it fool you. And these properties literally just came on the market. Uh, both properties have been on the market only for a couple of days. Um, and yet, they're going to go more than likely before the 4th of July, meaning they're going to open with someone uh, before the 4th of July uh, because of the competition in the market. So, um, and because of the fast pace of this market. So let's hop right in um, to our weekly industry update and let's talk about our statistics um, in our four major counties as we normally do. Uh, and we'll start off, of course, with Los Angeles, because that's close to home, right? That's where we are. And let's start off by just quickly stating that we all want to be TCPA compliant. Um, and this is so critical right now, you guys, especially since everybody is being sued. Uh, we want to make sure that you guys are not being sued. So make sure that whatever list you're getting your numbers from, if you are getting numbers from a list, that it is... Um, that it is definitely uh, scrubbed for the do not call list, okay? Good deal. All right, so LA County. LA County, guys, for sale properties has actually gone up 9.5% over last month. And what does that mean? That means properties that are active on the market has increased 9.5% over last month. Overall, for sale properties in LA County have increased 45.3% over last year. That's a huge increase over last year. So we are seeing more inventory in LA County um, over last year. And that is honestly um, not keeping in line with what all the predictions were, right? They said that our market was going to slow down. They said that we weren't gonna have as many sales as we did last year. And look at us, we've got 45.3% more inventory. Now, sold properties has gone down 3.2% over last month. And then over last year, we're actually down 0.4%. So this is the first time um, this year that that number has dipped um, into the negative. Um, so we're down 0.4%. It's not much, but it is a small down, downward tick, right? Um, not even a full percent, but we are down. So that means properties that have actually closed escrow are down. We've got more inventory, but sold properties are down. Now, why could that be? I know we've talked about this before. More than likely, it has a lot to do with these doggone interest rates, right? That people are still trying to get used to the fact that we are have interest rates at 7%, 7.5%. They've gone down a bit, so now we're we're right at that 7%, possibly 6.75 right in there. And if you're FHA, it's a little bit better, uh, but definitely um, that's more than likely why we're seeing sold properties um, not close escrow, people get into escrow and close on these, on these properties, even though we have more inventory. Now, pended properties went down 5.5%. Pended properties are properties that have actually gone into escrow. Um, and then overall, pended properties are still up 1.2% overall. Now, I don't know about you guys, but today, I don't know if you knew this, um, but today is the first day of the second half. 
the first day of the second half. That's exciting. You guys, don't beat yourselves up. The first half is gone. It's done. It's in the books. So do not beat yourself up if you're behind your goal, if you didn't do some of the activities that you said you were going to do. Now, today, let's start fresh. Let's start fresh and get after our goals, right? Just start fresh. Forget about it, right? First half is gone. Now here's the second half and we're going to get after it right now in our second half. Okay. So these numbers right here are a reflection of what happened in the first half. Now we are looking forward to that second half and being July, remember July, August, uh, well, June, July, August are some of the hottest months of real estate, right? Some of the hottest months of real estate. So we're looking at, are we going to rebound in these next couple of months um, on our souls? What actually closes escrow? And hopefully we're looking at rebounding um, on those souls over last year, okay? Who is excited about the second half? I need to hear it. I need to hear some folks who are excited about the, the, the second half of this year and your business. I'm excited. Good, good. I love it. Anybody else excited? Armando, you should be excited because you're getting after it. And so I know your, your second half of your business is going to look brighter because you're out there getting busy. So I'm yeah. excited for it. Thank you. you. Absolutely. Who else is excited about the second half of their business? Anybody else? I am excited. I'm excited. Uh, finally, you know, I'm feeling better uh, for my medical condition. I'm getting a, a lease. Uh, a you're getting a lease. I heard that, Norma, and that you're excited. I'm I'm excited for you as well, Norma. Uh, thank you so much. And Norma, I know that it's tough. Um, Norma, you guys um, lot recently lost her mother. Um, and you guys, anybody who's had a loss that close to your heart, um, probably the closest person to you, um, knows that that is just not something easy to come back from. That's not, it's, it's not easy to get your motivation back when you lose someone um, so close to you. That's correct. Yes, thank yeah. you, Brandy. Thank you. Absolutely, my dear. And 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 I'm just I'm just I'm so excited that you're here. Um, uh, because that is to me um motivation for all of us. Those of you who have not lost somebody like that and 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 you're having a problem with your motivation, you know, you really gotta you really gotta tap into your goals, you really gotta tap into um, you know, what you're doing this for. Because if Norma can be here, then we all can show up. Right, we can we can all show up and we can all give a um, hundred percent to our goals. Um, all right, so new listing inventory, new listing inventory is down nine point seven percent. So that's properties that have recently that have had have come on the market recently. Um, so that's nine point seven percent down, and then fifteen point four percent up over last year overall which is great. We are still in the in the negative when it comes to uh, new listing inventory um, this year. So we are seeing 15.4% more new listing inventory than we did last year, which is phenomenal, okay? Because we need to see even more of that. Because as you guys will see, our, um, our consumption rate or assumption rate, you guys are gonna see months of inventory on the market, right? is still going to be lower than a, a balanced market. And that's what we need. We need a balanced market, right? All right. Average active price is down 1.3% over last month um, and then down 9% overall. So sellers in LA County are asking 9% less than they did last year. That's what that means. Sellers in LA County are offering are asking less than 9%. Um, I'm sorry, that are, are, are asking 9% less than they did last year, okay? Now, they're receiving, check this number out, 4.3% higher than they did last year. So they're asking less and receiving higher, okay? So when you talk to your sellers, 
right? You're talking to your sellers. You guys as listing agents are the most influential to the seller um, when it comes to their, their asking price. You're going to provide them with the data. You're going to provide them with why their property should be, you know, at this particular price. And when they say, oh, I've done this to my house and it should be, uh, you know, $75,000 higher because of the pain I put in here, um, you guys have got to be the one to educate them, right, on the downfalls or the pitfalls of overpricing their home, right? But this data will help you to be able to educate them on what's really going on in the market. And you guys are going to get hyper-local and hyper-focused. So this is even going to be even more valuable um, information because you're going to bring it down to their neighborhood, okay? But just know that although they're asking less, they're receiving still 4.3% higher, which is great appreciation. Um, it is normal appreciation. So LA County to me is really in line with uh, more of a normal market. Um, and of course, this is this is in some areas, you're going to see multiple offers and all that going on, higher prices. We know that. And in some areas, you're going to see lower. All right, months of inventory. This tells us a big story, right? Months of inventory is still um, overall 2.9 months of inventory. So we are still in a severe buyer's um, seller's market, right? We are still in a severe seller's market in LA County. It's getting better, but we are not there yet. That is a 45.1% increase over last year. Last year, we only had two months of inventory. So now we are in a better position, no doubt about it, especially since you're seeing more inventory come on the market than last year. That's why we're seeing 2.9 months of inventory, but we are still not out of the woods. We still need more inventory and uh, more buyers uh, or more sellers to hop into this market. Um, and we need those interest rates probably to give just a little bit um, in order for buyers to uh, get off the fence, right? Average days on market has gone down 3.6% over last month um, and overall has gone down 13.9%. So we were at 36 days on market last, last year. We're at 31 days on market currently. So homes are staying on the market for about one month in LA County, right? However, if you are out there looking, you're probably seeing that that is just not true. Those properties that are in high demand areas or they're in great condition, are getting swooped up like that, okay? So don't let that number fool you. Sold versus original list price is down 2% over last month. So we were at 98% of list price. Sellers were getting 98% of list price last month. Currently, um, we ended June with 96% of list price in LA County, okay? Um, again, that is still good for sellers. Sellers are getting almost 100% of their list price. Any Anything above 95%, sellers are typically very happy. Uh, and as, as being the people that influence that the most, uh, we know how to price our clients' property so that they can receive 100% of their list price, okay? And uh, now, um, last year, sellers were getting 97% of their list price currently, they're getting 98% of their list price overall, okay? So that's a 1% increase, not much, but again, moving in the right direction. Sellers are getting a little bit more um, than they did last year, okay? All right, so let's go on to Orange County. The OC, let's see. Gotcha, okay, wonderful. All righty. So let's go on to Orange County. Um, for sale properties is up 14.6% over last year. I'm sorry, over last month. For sale properties up 14.6% over last month. And then up 36.9% overall for sale properties. Properties that are actually on the market right now are up 36.9% in Orange County, which is great. Sold properties have gone down 10.6% um, over last month down 10.4% over last year, same time frame in June, um, and up 3.6% overall. So in Orange County, unlike LA County, three out of three of our trends, um, of our statistics, major statistics are in the green. And for the first time, you guys, actually um, in LA County, for the first time, 
Um, two of the three were in the green. We have one in the red. Um, and that was the first time, right? Um, and, and, and Orange County has actually been one in the red. It has been this sold, has been in the red, or this pendant has been in the red um, a couple of times. So uh, definitely Orange County is moving in the right direction in terms of our trends. So sold properties, again, down 10.6% over last month. However, up 3.6% overall properties that have actually closed escrow. Pendants are down 4.5% over last month and 4.2% higher overall. So properties that have actually gone into escrow has increased 4.2% over last year, which is great. All right. My Instagram. Uh-oh, what did you say, Shelly? Sorry. Oh, no, it's okay, hon. All right, new listing inventory is down 14.2% over last month and down 5.8% um, over last year, same time frame in June. The end of June, we were down 5.8% on new listing inventory. Um, and we are increased 12.5% over last year. So we have more new listing inventory um, than we did last year in Orange County to the tune of 12.5%. So that's great. We are, and we need it. As you guys will see in Orange County, there is, um, Orange County has the least amount of inventory among all of the counties, okay? So average active price is up 1.9% over last year. I'm sorry, over last month um, and up 6.8% over last year, same time frame in June and up 6.8% overall, the average active price. So that means sellers in Orange County are asking 6.8% higher than they did last year. However, they're receiving, look at this, 14.7% higher than they did last year. So sellers in Orange County are extremely happy. Um, and I would attribute this again to the scarcity of inventory. So that means that the reality is, is that you know there's just not many um, properties on the market for buyers to, um, to go after or to purchase, right? And because of that, we are all bidding on the same properties, causing those prices to go up, right? All right, so months of inventory, this is what we're talking about. It's increased 30.6% over last month. We were at 1.3 months of inventory last month. We are currently at 1.7 months of inventory this month, or we ended 1.7 months of inventory, okay, last month. We are up overall 28.9% over last year. We were at 1.4 months of inventory last year. We we're at 1.8 months of inventory. Again, we are seeing great, um, at least we're in the positive. We're seeing that we're moving in the right direction. The reality is though, as you guys, 1.8 months of inventory is nothing. So what that's saying is if we put no more properties on the market right now, it would only take 1.8 months for all those properties to be taken up. That's like, that's less than two months that it would take for all those properties to be taken off the market and we would be left with no inventory, okay? So our absorption rate um, in Orange County is just extremely low. I said assumption rate earlier. <laughs> our absorption rate uh, in Orange County is extremely low, puts us in a dramatic seller's market, okay? Um, and that is why you are seeing uh, those prices, um, that, that those prices, what did we talk about? Um, so high in Orange County. What is it? I'm trying to find it. 14.7% increase in the average sold price, right? Uh, because we just have such a scarcity of inventory. Now let's look at a uh, sold price versus original list price and our average days on market. No change in average days on market over last month. We were at 19 days on market last month. We're at 19 days on market currently. So no change there. Um, and then overall, we were at 33 days on market last year and currently we're at 23 days on market, right? So that's a 30.3% decrease. Um, in our average days on market. And literally, this is this is what you guys have to be aware of. When you're taking buyers out, don't sleep on on getting them out first and being and having a sense of urgency. 
right? Because they are not staying on the market very long. These properties are moving quickly. So versus original list price, um, a change, an increase of 1%. So we were at 99% of list price last month. We're at 100% of list price this month. Sellers are getting 100% of their list price. Sellers are happy, right? They're getting 100% of their list price. Overall, a 2.1% increase. Last year, sellers were getting 97% of their list price, and they're currently getting 99% of their list price. So again, sellers are extremely happy in Orange County. Those sellers are the ones that need to sell. Just so we're clear, you guys, the market right now is for sellers that need to sell. What sellers need to sell? You guys, this is interactive, so come off mute. What sellers need to sell right now? Who are they? What are their categories? Anybody want to take a guess? And divorcees. Divorcees. Who else? I heard a lot of you guys. Come on. Divorcees. Who else? Want to downsize. Okay. People who want to downsize. That's true. That's true. People, but those are a little bit harder to find, but but also older, older community. Okay. Foreclosures. Foreclosures, absolutely. NODs. NODs, absolutely. So that was kind of what um, Rosalind was saying. So NODs and NOTs, right? Notice of trustee sale and notice of default, right? Who else? We're missing one of the big ones. And I know it's a little bit, but I know you guys know this one. Divorcees, downsizing, so and notice of default, notice of trustee sale. Who else? Notice of death, probates, right? Probate people need to sell, right? So that's another category. And we call them kind of the, the Ds, right? Because it's divorce, um, default, death, those are all categories of people who will need to sell, okay? And those are all categories that are filed with the county recorder's office so the information is available, right? Now, who else, although they may not need to sell, has said they want to sell and have not sold? Who else, who, what other categories are we find those listings? What other categories of sellers can we find listings? I'm probably not asking that question quite right. Expireds, right? Expireds. Thank you, Rosalind. Expireds. What's the other category? Expireds in the other one? Fizbos. Thank you. Fizbos. Fizbos. And our bold coach calls Fizbo's the fastest source of business opportunity. Not for sale by owners, but the fastest source of business opportunity. Okay, so if you guys are looking at how can I find listings, we just gave you six categories, actually seven, okay, of people that need to sell and are, are more prone to sell. OK, so just just a side note, I wanted to make sure we hit that because clearly in Orange County, we need more sellers. Right. We need more inventory. All right. Let's go to Riverside County. Riverside County. We're looking at two percent um, increase on for sale properties, properties that are actually on the market. So two percent increase over last month, a forty one point eight percent increase over last year. It's a huge increase over last year. Um, sold properties are down 5.4% over last month, down 15% over last year, same time frame in June, and slightly down overall at 2.6% decrease, okay, over last year. Sold properties, properties that have actually closed escrow. Pendants are up 7.7% over last month, up 16.2% over last year, same time frame in June, and an increase of 1.7% over last year. So properties that have actually gone into escrow have slightly increased um, in Riverside County to uh, um, uh, at 1.7%. At All right, new listing inventory is down 12.5% over last month, 
However, we are still seeing the gains of 14% overall over last year, okay? So 14% increase in Riverside County. So we are seeing more inventory, new listing inventory and existing inventory be on the market in Riverside County, which is great, okay? Average active price down 2.3% over last month, down two, I'm sorry, increased 2% over last year, same time frame in June, and an increase of 2% overall. So we are seeing that in Riverside County, sellers are actually asking for 2% higher than they did last year, right? So not much, There, it is not astronomical at all, which is probably why we're seeing more people go out to the Riverside County. Um, not only are the house prices typically cheaper out there anyway, right? Because it's, it's farther out, uh, but also, they have not had these huge, huge astronomical gains out there either. Uh, now, they're asking 2% higher. However, they're receiving 7.3% higher than they did last year. Okay. So again, still not in the double digits and still not astronomical. So that's, that's a good sign. Um, still within the range of normal appreciation. Um, so, so Riverside County, um, unlike other counties, uh, especially like Orange County, right, where there's a double digit appreciation. Um, Riverside County is still a little bit more reasonable. All right. And this probably has something to do with it. Look at the months of inventory. Unlike being 1.8 months of inventory for Orange County, Riverside County is sitting at 2.8 months of inventory, which is actually an increase of 12.1% over last month. We were at 2.5 months of inventory last month. We're at 2.8 now. And then overall, a 47.3% increase. We were at 1.9 months of inventory um, last year. And currently, again, we are at 2.8 months of inventory. So we have more inventory in Riverside County. Um, I think Riverside County probably has the most, or maybe San Bernardino County. We'll see. Um, but definitely, we're seeing some gains over last year, which is great which is probably why we are seeing the, the, that the um, the appreciation um, is still in a normal range, okay? Because there's a little bit more inventory out there, keeping it a little bit more uh, in line. So average days on market has gone down 4.9% over last month. We were at 41 days on market last month. We're at 39 days on market currently. Um, overall, a 12.5% decrease. We were at 48 days on market last year, and currently we're at 42 days on market overall. So properties are staying on the market about 42 days. Again, don't let that number fool you because that would tell you you got a month and a half. You really don't, okay? You really don't. You have to be out there and getting your, your buyer in first, all righty? Especially in more desirable areas or a more desirable property. You got to be there first. All right, sold versus original list price is decreased 1%. So we were at 98% of list price. Sellers were getting 98% of list price last month. Currently, they're getting 97% of list price. Overall, it's an increase of 1%. Sellers were getting 96% of list price last year, and currently they are getting 97% of list price, okay? So again, sellers are happy because they are getting very, very close to their 100% of list price. And again, we can help them to achieve that goal. So for sale properties in San Bernardino County, let's move on to San Bernardino County, our last county of the day. Um, for sale properties has increased 7.8% over last month and has increased 45.3% over last year overall, okay, for sale properties. So in San Bernardino County, we definitely have seen some increase in inventory right, on that for sale side, because that's a 45% increase over last year, okay, properties that are actually active on the market. Sold properties has gone down 9.5% over last month, down 20.7% over last year, um, same time frame in June, and then a slight decrease of 4.5% overall on sold properties. So properties that have actually closed escrows have actually gone down 4.5% over last year. And we'll keep an eye on that and see if we can't rebound over the summer months. Pendant properties is up 3.7% over last month. Properties that have gone into escrow up 4.4% over last year, same time frame in June. 
However, down 2.3% overall um, as compared to last year. All right, so San Bernardino County is the only county where two out of the three major trend lines is um, on the negative, right? We're on the decline. Um, so we'll keep an eye out on that um, in, in San Bernardino County and see if we don't rebound these next couple of months. Um, definitely. And, and the fact that we've got inventory out there, right, um, suggests that we should be able to get those solds back up, get those pendants back up. Uh, however, those interest rates could be keeping some of those folks on the on the fence. Um, and that's why, you know, we're seeing that the solds are down and the pendants are down. All right. New listing inventory has gone down 15.1% over last month. However, it's still in the green, 3.3% increase over last year. So we are still seeing that they've got new listing inventory um, in the positive to the tune of 13.3% increase over last year. So still doing well in that category. Average active price is up 0.3% over last month and up 1.5% over last year overall. So average active price in San Bernardino County has not gone up much at all. And that probably, um, again, in looking at um, the solds being down and looking at the pendants being down, I would say, okay, definitely the average active price probably wouldn't be so astronomical because sellers want to sell, right? Um, and then looking at average sold price, average sold price is actually up 5.4% over last year. So although they're asking 1.5% higher in San Bernardino County, which is extremely nominal, it's, it's, it's almost flat, right? Only a couple to 1.5% is nothing. Um, they are receiving 5.4%, which is in line with normal appreciation, right? Which is in line with 4% like four to 7% is about normal appreciation, you guys. Um, so 5.4% um, is a good amount of appreciation for sellers in San Bernardino County. All right, so, and again, we know in San Bernardino County, I believe this was the county I was thinking of, this is reaching the stair step, the threshold of a normal market. As you can see here, a 21% increase in months of inventory. We were at 2.9 months of inventory last month. We ended the month at 3.5 months of inventory. The most inventory out of all of the three other uh, uh, other counties, right? And overall, a 52.4% increase over last year. We were at 2.3 months of inventory last year. Currently, we are again at 3.5 months of inventory. A normal market starts at four months of inventory. OK, so we are right there, uh, very close um, to being in that normal market where now it makes sense, right, that appreciation is only in the 4.5 percent or in the 5.4 percent. Right. That makes sense because we are getting close to that normal market. Right. All right. Average days on market has increased three percent. Um, we were at 33 days on market last month. We had 34 days on market this month. Overall, a decrease of 15.2% because we are at 46 days on market last year, currently at 39 days on market. Um, sold versus original list price has gone down 3% over last month. Last month, we were at 99% of list price. Sellers were getting 99% of their list price. Currently, they are getting 96% of their list price. That's how we ended the month. Um, and then... Overall, um, a 1% increase. We were at 97% of list price last year. Currently, sellers are getting 98% of their list price, right? So this is um, this is a, a still a great market in San Bernardino County. Sellers are getting 98% of their list price. Um, they are still seeing positive appreciation. So sellers are happy in San Bernardino County. Don't let anybody tell you differently. Also, just because you're seeing 39 days on the market, remember, you got to get out there fast, right? Any questions regarding our market trends? Any questions before we move on to our upcoming events? We good? All right. 
So just so you guys are aware, this week is a little light, right? Because we are in a holiday week. Um, and we don't, we, if we're bringing in instructors and we've got trainers, um, even if they're here in our local market, there are local trainers like Victor and Jennifer and Shelly um, and myself and Diana and Martha. Um, we want to make sure that we bring people into the training that you guys are going to participate. And we know for sure right now that it's a light week. So we don't do a lot of training on this week uh, because of that. So I want you guys to lean into our YouTube page. Um, I want you guys to lean into um, our online training that we have available in Connect. Um, we do have some classes though. So today we do have group coaching. Um, that's going to be at 12 o'clock with myself. Um, and then we have tomorrow, we have conversations in real play um, with John Boteo. And we do have, if you want to know more about solar, we do have the 10 o'clock tomorrow, the renewed agent with Rock Thomas. And then we have utilizing DocuSign with opportunities at three o'clock with our regional tech trainer. Um, Wednesday, we do not have broker hour with Ed and Thursday will no broker hour because that, that is the holiday. Um, on Wednesday at one o'clock, we do have tech workshop with Martha. Um, so definitely if you guys are needing to have some hands-on training, that's when you're going to get it. Okay. Our office is open on Friday. I will be here on Friday. Um, so if you guys need, um, additional help with things that actually Friday is a good day, um, because it's pretty open. Um, so if you guys need additional help with something, you can definitely come in, schedule some time with me. All righty. And industry news, got a couple of things I just wanted to update you guys on. Zillow and Redfin were accused of violating user privacy. Um, so basically a California lawsuit, this is why I say you guys, California is so litigious, so make sure that you're covering yourselves, um, alleges that the home search portals use their tracking technology to gather data without consent, okay? Um, and they are currently being sued and that's Zillow and Redfin and they're talking about how they use um, they're tracking bots um, with certain, um, like if you're, if you, if a, if a buyer, potential buyer or seller, I guess, was in there and they were looking at the videos and they were looking at pictures that there were, they were tracking them, um, and that they didn't ask them to collect uh, their data. Okay, and so they are currently being sued. That was a lawsuit filed on June twenty fifth. Um, so we'll keep an eye on that because all it does is is uh, for us, um, you know, you guys know Zillow is is a major um, data gatherer, basically, and they sell us back our leads. Um, anytime Zillow is in the limelight, I, I like to I like to highlight it uh, because it actually um, it degrades a little bit of their power. Every every little thing that happens degrades a little bit of their power. Right. So I like to keep us in the know on what's happening with them. Um, three top takeaways from the NAR's meeting with the DOJ. The Department of Justice got involved. They've been involved, but they definitely were scrutinizing our forms. And they basically were saying that um, some of the changes, especially in the BRBC, the buyer agency rep agreement, they were saying that uh, they didn't think that they were in alignment with the NAR settlement. Um, and they thought that uh, other changes needed to be made. And then after the NAR looked at the multiple pages that the DOJ submitted on the changes, um, and, and, and their three major points were making sure that the forms put the consumer first, that we don't try anything fishy, um, and they wanted to make sure that they that we understand that uh, they're not done. That, like they're still going to be, they're the watchdog. They're going to be keeping an eye out on, uh, on us, right? Um, and, and, and into our industry practices, okay? Uh, but the bottom line is that what they found out, the NAR found out in the study, um, in the document that they submitted, was that they were nitpicking on grammatical, er grammatical items, um, punctuation, um, and that it really didn't have anything to do with the essence of the document. Um, and, and so the, the NAR basically, um, is currently refuting, um, some of the things or just making the, the silly changes that they're asking because it had nothing to do with the content of the BRBC. They're talking about moving around fields and stuff like that. 
Um, and so it was really interesting to read this article because again, they're just being nitpicky, right? The NAR is here to try to make sure that the consumer is protected um, and that we as agents are also protected. Um, and and the DOJ is is mincing about punctuation and and stuff like that. So not a not a big deal. Um, but just know, like Ed is telling us, and 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 we're keeping an eye out for all the changes on the forms. It is going to be critical that we are uh, up to date on what form changes take place and that we understand them and that we're able to articulate them to our clients. And so Ed is actually gonna be here in July. He, we're gonna have like a, a two hour session with him um, on the forms. And then we're gonna do it again um, in August um, before the August 17th date. So be on the lookout for that because it's gonna be a lunch and learn uh, with Ed, all right? All right, and then the CAR responds to the harsh criticism um, of its buyer agreement. This actually um, is again, um, the, the California Association um, of Realtors, we came, fell under scrutiny with the Consumer Feder Federation of America's assessment. Um, and again, this it, it was basically the same as um, with the DOJ um, is that, is that it was saying that the BRBC did not match the NAR settlement um, guidelines. And so they, what I love is that CAR, NAR, they are all being extremely responsive to all of these consumer um, organizations and trying to make sure that we address all of their concerns. The DOJ, the, the um, Consumer Federation of America's assessment, so everyone is chiming in and having something to say, and we're not backing down. So just know that your CAR dollars, your NAR dollars are being used and we're not backing down. We're not just cowering. Um, we are standing up for ourselves um, or they're standing up for us um, and making sure that we're not making unnecessary changes, but we're making the right changes um, and, and that we are listening to what they're saying so that they feel heard so that hopefully we will not have this same situation um, in the future, okay? Uh, any questions? Because that is it for today. But any questions, any comments? You good? No, we're good. Thank you. All right. Thank you. That was You're very really welcome. Good. I want you guys go you, out Wendy. and have. You're welcome. Have an amazing start to the start. Thank All right. Thank, Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank have you. an awesome Marvelous day, guys. Monday. Marvelous Marvel Monday. I like that. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.